Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to run CUDA codes directly within the free uh, Colab instance. So, Google Colab comes with NVIDIA GPUs, which you can interact with via Python, but you can also interact directly with it via C or C++ from Jupyter without subscribing to the Pro version, which you can. If you subscribe to the Pro version, you have access to the terminal. But without the Pro version, you don't have access to the terminal. But there's still a couple of workarounds which you can use to write your CUDA codes and take advantage of the free GPUs that are available on Colab. Okay, so first of all, we, you know, there are different ways which you can interact with um, the Colab environment. You can use Python or you can use magic commands or you can use normal commands that work in the terminal. So the very first command will be uh, running is we'll be checking out the NVIDIA compiler that comes inbuilt without no installations, nothing. This is a new instance. So if you just use the exclamation mark right and write MVCC and do dash help, you will have access to um, just basically see the help menu from the NVIDIA compiler which will be very useful for the programs we're about to write. So after we've done that, we've seen that we can run normal terminal commands directly. What we need to do is we need to create a file that will have our CUDA code. So there are many ways you can go about this but one of the fastest ways of doing it or especially for simple programs is to use the write file um, magic command that comes in by default. And so we just give our file name, so I'll call it hello.cu, which stands for CUDA, then um, and just paste your CUDA code. So this is a simple uh, CUDA code that creates a kernel that prints hello world and it prints the thread. The thread, uh, the thread it's running and the block is also running at. So this gets called here, then the other parts of where basically you just have to wait for the uh, CUDA to finish what it's doing before the CPU can return it. So this is just a simple hello world in CUDA. So you run this and it's overwriting it because I already had that file already. But uh, if you, if we come over here and we confirm, we run another command. you're going to see this hello.cu. So what we need to do is we need to use the very first command we use as MVCC to compile this. So we just do MVCC. It's almost similar to GCC if you've worked with GCC. And we specify what our output file will be. Then we also um, um, specify our uh, file name itself. Then we run. Okay, so let's confirm our output file should be there. Think. And this is our output file. Okay, so now we just have to run this output file just like every normal C program. It has been com uh, compiled, so we just have to run it. And if we do this, Hopefully, we should get our hello world twice. Yes, so this is it. It's basically telling us that our first hello world got um, printed in the zero thread within the second, uh, within the, uh, the zero um, block. And this is also another thread within the ze uh, block zero. So this is a very simple way of, you know, playing around with CUDA and experimenting with it. Probably if you want to go further, you can create as much programs as you want. Then if you feel it's worth it, you can also pay for like you know Google Pro, uh, Google Colab Pro, and have access to the terminals where you could use your normal commands. So I hope you found this video interesting or useful. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more things like this. Just.